Hey guys, back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to properly install a air filter on a 2007 Honda Rancher, but pretty much all ranchers are the same, so just different part number filters, but you can go by the same process for each one. Um, first, what every a lot of people miss, you need to oil your air filter if it doesn't already come oiled. I'll show you the piece of paper that shows that this one is not oiled, so if you get one, so you're sure. But I'm quite confident all unis do not come oiled, pre-oiled. So uh, I'll get to oiling it, and I'll get back to you guys when I'm in the middle of that. Okay, so what I did was I dumped a certain amount of that oil in this bag, and you just work it around for a while and use a latex glove, and you want it to come out looking like this. Um, focus here. But <clears throat> now you're going to set it in the sun for like a half hour to an hour. Or if you were in a crunch, you could just slap it in now, but I'll set mine in the sun for at least 20 minutes and then uh, I'll get to showing you how to put it in. So while our filter's over there, um, drying in the sun to some extent, here's a little slip that will be in your package and tell you whether or not it needs to be filtered, uh, oiled or not, sorry. Um, it also comes with two stickers and Uni makes their own little kits. You can buy a spray oil or you can just get a simple oil. I got that at a Honda dealership for like seven bucks. So uh, this one's just a Bell Ray or whatever and it I've used it on six different filters and that same canister and it's still only it's only like two-thirds gone so works great um, so next step for replacing the filter you'll pop the seat and then you're gonna pop these four pins okay guys so after you get the filter out uh, take the band all the way off then you're gonna take this metal insert that was inside the filter and just work it off because um, you're gonna have to reuse this at least with a uni, but if you're just buying an OEM replacement You'll just pull it right out and put it in but um, Yeah, so This is a good time to drain your air box if there's anything in the bottom of it and uh, just wipe out the dust and You'll be all set All right guys, so I put the metal insert in I put the band back on you're gonna want to do that before you slide it in here uh, tighten it up not too tight and uh, put your cover back on and you're all set and that's how you put an air filter on a Honda Rancher or pretty much any ATV it's gonna be around the same but I said like I said Can-Am and certain bigger quads are gonna be more complicated but I appreciate you watching and if you enjoyed smash that like button and if you have any questions drop a comment below and I'll catch you guys in the next one